Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. Today we are gonna jump into the time machine and travel back a whole 12 years to the year 2012. As we take a look at this, from Hasbro, we are featuring Marvel Wolverine in the Titan Hero series. All right, so the Titan Hero series is a 12 inch scale action figure. Um, their budget toys generally priced between, I think $9 to like $12. Uh, you can often find these kind of action figures at uh, Walmarts, Targets, and occasionally at Walgreens. Um, they're aimed at a much younger audience. You know, these are really just aimed at kids. They're not really for the serious collector. Uh, serious collectors kind of scoff at these toys and call them shampoo bottles uh, because they're essentially this large, hollow pieces of plastic. Um, I actually have a, a fondness for this style of toy, and I think they're great. Um, they're ideal for little ones because of their size and durability, and they just look fantastic. They're fun to play with. Uh, the box art is incredible. Uh, this features Wolverine in his Astonishing X-Men costume. Uh, for those comic book readers out there, you'll remember Astonishing X-Men. It was a run of books written by um, Joss Whedon of Firefly and illustrated um, by artist John Cassidy, who's also known for illustrating wild storms um planetary comic book way back in the day uh, this is a beautiful looking uh box very colorful and eye-catching and on the back you have a full-size image of the toy itself large size superhero and it looks great all right let's take this guy out All right, give me a moment. The tray's kind of stuck. Oh, here we go. All right, so we have the 12-inch Titan Hero Series Wolverine. Um, it's a beautiful-looking figure. Keep in mind, like I said, this is aimed at kids. It's not for the serious collector, so it's not going to feature all the bells and whistles of, say, like, you know, a Hot Toys or a Sideshow collectible. Um... You know, like I said at the start of the video, this is just hollow pieces of plastic with very limited articulation. Uh, the paint is very vibrant. Uh, the blue, it's a nice, shiny, glossy blue. Uh, the detailing is actually, it's re a really well sculpted figure, but you're not going to see all the detail up close. Uh, just because the nature of the plastic and the lighting. But it's a really fantastic looking piece. Um... Up close, we have Wolverine in his mask. He has his grumpy face. He has the shoulder pads, uh, the tiger stripes on the side of his uniform, uh, the X-Men belt buckle. Uh, the claws, uh, much like most Wolverine figures, are always kind of like, uh, they're never straight. And these are actually removable also. You know, you can actually take these off. If you have little ones, uh, I would suggest probably super gluing these on just because you're going to lose these the first day um, of play. They come out pretty easily. And then here's the back. Nice sculpting and musculature. So it's a, it's a nice figure. The presentation's um, well done. And for the audience it's aimed at, I think it's an okay... Um, you know, it's, an, it's ideal for kids, you know, for the most part. Um, I love these toys just because I think they make great display pieces because of their size. Um, I have a large collection of these 12-inch figures at my desk at work. And every time we have guests, you know, they always come by and take a look at the toys. Uh, one thing that's kind of off with this figure, though, is that the paint application on the eyes very off. <laughs> so it hit the mark on this one, but on this one, the eye is a little bit too low. Um, I might go in and touch it up myself. It's kind of unfortunate, but, you know, you, you get what you get, especially at this price level. Uh, the articulation, uh, we can take a look at that real quick. Uh, his head uh, turns not too much. Uh, his arms just kind of go up, and then his legs kick outward. So, yeah, very uh, limited in this articulation, but I think it's a nice figure. It looks neat. You know, I, I like these a lot. And, again, you know, these are really aimed at kids. You know, so if you're an older collector, you know, this is clearly clearly not aimed at you. And for the price point, I think it's ideal, especially for parents. It's, they're affordable. They're large. You know, kids love taking these kind of toys on vacation. You know, something to play with. And they're just great. 
All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.